So the reason the Altus came about is we identified that there's a, a customer that we didn't really provide a pack for. In our range we have things like the Aeon, it's quite light and fast, and then we have air zones, which is slightly more traditional hiking with a ventilated back system. And we also have Alpine mountaineering packs. Um, and the, the Altus customer kind of sits in the middle, so they're not a mountaineer, they're not a climber, but an Aeon's probably too lightweight and fast for them and won't carry a load, a heavy load well enough. And then they might not want something like a ventilated back system. So that's where the Altus came about. It's a, an all season, all mountain pack. So one of the best things about the Altus pack is the, the carry system. So we use an air, we call it the Air Contour Plus system. Uh, it's quite a stiff frame, it's still flexible. And it transfers load into a very supportive hip belt, even though they're on relatively small packs. So the benefit of that is quite a small pack, but you might be carrying something fairly heavy in there, kind of like bivy kit, sleeping bag, water, overnight food, but you don't have a big volume because you're not out for days and days. So having that really good load transfer means you have a better time moving in the mountains. That combined with the packs being very sleek and clean and quite fit for purpose for different activities. The three Altus packs, there's three men's sizes and then there's three women's sizes which are a couple of litres smaller. Um, there are ND women specific packs. Uh, the key differences are the, the shape of the yoke on the shoulder harness, the back length differs and then the hip belt will be a slightly different shape and, and fit differently. So the, the R&D process that we go through to kind of arrive at the Altus as the, as the end result starts with a concept and a brief. We work through that. Designers will come up with sketch work. We'll review that. We will make internal card and fabric blocks so we can actually work out what shape we need, how big it needs to be to accommodate what the end user will be carrying. We'll actually get that kit, put it inside, test it, revise it, work out what size things need to be, so we're actually fine tuning that all the way through the development. Um, we'll then make samples in-house or externally, depending which way we're working, and we'll then test those. Great thing we can do here is go and test the pack, come back later in the day, sew it up, tweak it, put some gaffer tape on, nip and tuck it or sew another bit in, and basically develop it quite quickly and come up with another sample quite soon, so we'll go and test that again. Uh, combined with that, we'll also be looking at kind of carry system foams and the technologies that are inside the carry system. So we can fine tune, and I know with these Altus packs, we had about 10 different versions of the shoulder harness that we could interchange on each pack when they were being out being tested. And we actually went to a load of people out, tested which EVA and which foam was the best combination for comfort and load transfer. So at Low Alpine, our mission is to design, develop and deliver world-class carry systems for life on the move. By that we mean we want to provide product and packs that enable people to have more fun and be more active in the mountains more easily. Uh, by things like our world-class carry systems allow you to carry load better and have more fun and make the mountains more accessible. The Altus pack is one of those packs that is delivering that.